Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my soil mixture for all of my house plants and for my containers out in the garden, in the raised garden bed, and my containers, anything really. So it's vermiculite and perlite and peat moss. So the vermiculite and the perlite are going to keep your soil from getting way too wet and rotting out your plants. So whenever you're using perlite, um, I like to do it either outside, but I'm doing it in my office because it is dusty and it makes me cough a lot whenever I'm using it. And this is the peat moss and it's dry right now. You can tell that it's just like really crumbly right now, but when it gets wet, it looks like soil. Right now it just kind of looks like, like hair. You know what I mean? And where I buy the peat moss, I, you can get it at Walmart. I get mine from Menards and it's a two cubic square foot bag. And my bag's still really full, so I didn't bring it up to the office. So I just filled up the bottom of this little cardboard tray. I, do, I don't measure, I just pour it in until it looks right. So you're gonna wanna have mostly peat moss to begin with. And then you pour in your perlite and vermiculite. So whenever you're mixing it, you're gonna wanna make sure that whenever you're looking at it, you're gonna wanna see a lot of the perlite and a lot of the vermiculite. If not, it's gonna rot out your plants. So it's just three simple things. I know some people do two cups of peat moss and then one cup vermiculite and one cup perlite. And I'm using a planter pot for my measuring cup. So I did use two of those planter potfuls of perlite. And this one I just pour in. This one's more like sand, really fine. And then I just mix it all together. And then whatever I don't use, I will pour into a bag or a different container so I can use it for next time. So this is a good sterile medium. There's not gonna be fungus gnats or anything growing in here. And if you do, I would boil it. Just pour boiling hot water onto your mixture. So you'd put this mixture in a bowl, not the cardboard box if you wanna boil it. So this is the perfect consistency that you want where you can see the white. And I've gotten rid of all of my fungus gnats by using this. I did not have to worry about any pests and every time I bring home a plant, I always, always put it in my mixture and I don't have to worry about pests. And I always look at my plants before I buy them too. All right, that was just a quick video on how I make my potting mixture. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.